Jones, Wall Street 30 um, technical analysis for today. So yesterday we ended up with a piercing pattern on the daily. Um, you can see how we gapped up and we closed at the 50% of this previous bar. Let me just zoom in so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and if you don't believe me, we can even put a little Fibonacci on that. I don't know whether that's going to help us. But 50% is actually close, below the 50%, more likely the 61.8. Anyway, so that is a bearish pattern, okay, on the daily. We have another bearish pattern right here, which is an engulfing red bar. So that is a double top. Obviously, the neckline for that double top is right around there. Okay, and there's a lot of support to the left at this level. Okay, so we could also say that is a range. Anyway, so it is a consolidation pattern nevertheless. Um, oscillators all over the place right now, nothing really to read into that. We are on the 50 EMA at the moment, the daily 50 EMA. Let me just close this so we've got a little bit more space. Um, so what are we looking for today? I think it's safe to say that we have um, put in a lower high. There's my lower high. That lower high was not quite a Fibonacci. We broke through the 61.8 here. Uh, still a lower high, nevertheless. And all we want to do is just put a level in at the point we turned. And you can see Looking left, you can see there's an inside tail there, and that's exactly where price rejected. Okay, so the advice yesterday was looking for the pullback for the long, and we're looking for something in this area here. We got the signals on the lower time frame. It was a half decent uh, trade, but it kind of fizzled out, and uh, it fizzled out again, just short of the 60 well just on the 61.8, but ever so slightly short. Okay, now from a price action perspective, what I'm seeing here is there was our second move, or our second move is underway. Okay, there was our move, there was our pullback, and the second move. Where's the second move heading to? It's heading into this area here. If I look left, look at the tails there, 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 and there. Okay, so that's probably the target that we're looking at at the moment. That is uh, that's 23855 is what we're looking for right now. And that's for this move. Um, would I jump in on it now? No, definitely not. What I will be paying attention to is this break of 24100. So I'd like to see a retest of this 24100, let that hold, then that would give me a fairly decent short entry to the next level. It would be a 240 point uh, trade, not too shabby. And the second thing that I would be very keen on right now, so this is, this is just the only difficult part on the Dow at the moment. So we do... For me, trend lines are formed on the first two fractals. There they are there. Okay, we broke through it here, back above it. Then we found support on it. We found support on it again, up, and then broke through it. Okay, so that's, for me, what the original trend line is. However, you do need to pay attention to the swing low as well. Okay, so... Just got that trend line in, and you can see that trend line is pretty much an intersecting trend line here. So this area of 28, uh, 23.855 is of immense interest for me. But obviously I want to see what happens here first. Okay, um, let's just get down to our... And I'm going to get rid of the noise here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this level back in. But I'm going to put two levels in here because there's some touches there. We're in there. There's support. There we're kind of using support off the, the lower level. 
And the more important one for me at the moment is the 150 EMA on the hour. Remember for me, 150 EMA is a trend change for me on the, on any time frame basically. So if we're above it, we're trending up, we're below it, we're trending down. Okay, so at the moment we have, if you can see the head and shoulders, there it is, and we've broken below it. Okay, a little bit of a different setup to the S&P. Um, on the Dow we have broken through this. I'm still looking at this area. And I do expect it to bounce around here, but especially on the on the um, on the 150, you can see what I mean. There it bounces. There it bounces. Purple line is a 150. Bounces. <clears throat> bounces around testing. Bounces around. Okay. So I do expect it to bounce a little bit here. That's um, the high probability scenario at the moment. So we need to wait for it to form some structure, bounce around, up below, up below, and then we're looking for a break of that structure. Okay, so we have put in a lower low here. There's our high, lower high, low, lower low. So what we want is a retracement. Retracement should come up to a level or a Fibonacci level, at which point we can get in short on this for a move to the downside. Okay, we do have a moving average crossover happening on the hour at the moment. So that's another scenario, and there is quite a bit of uh, negative news coming around out of China around the virus at the moment. The fact that we didn't get above the high of, so that was a weekly close last week. Um, we were above it, we tested it once, and then we bombed through it quite aggressively. Found some support, got a trade in here, fizzled out of the 61.8, and now we've Put in a lower low. So for me, trend is more than likely changing to the downside and I need to react accordingly. And reacting accordingly means I wait for a pullback onto structure, into a support or resist, uh, sorry, into a resistance level um, or any other level, whether it be a moving average or a Fibonacci level, and look at price action there. Whatever structure forms, uh, the short is on the break of that structure to the downside with a stop above the structure. Okay, so um, right now, the scenario is simple. Be patient, wait, wait for it to pull back into a level and then um, execute your trade. And I suppose for today, I expect another down day. And uh, futures, futures markets at the moment, what are we down here? So, so the futures market itself is down 0.75%. I just want to see if there's anything else that's happening at the moment. Uh, oil is oil slightly up. Uh, nothing really to read into that. Um, Shanghai is down 0.5%, and the Hang Seng is down uh, 1%. Okay. Anyway, I think that's the scenario for me at the moment on this. Uh, Wait for the pullback, uh, wait for the structure to form, and then look for the short. It does look like a, a trend change is underway, specifically on the hour. You'll probably find on the half hour it has happened. Um, happened over here, or happened yesterday actually. And then we got the retest, well, it wasn't quite a retest of the crossover, but uh, it was uh, some form of retest yesterday. Probably in hindsight would have been a nice uh, short entry off the 61.8. Um, but yeah, that's not my style because the trend was still up at that point. So now we look for the trade to the downside. Anyway, that's what we're looking at. Um, sorry, just one last thing here. It's also very visible on the S&P is that. Okay, so we have a wedge um, within a channel. So that's always a little bit dangerous because it does indicate that we're going to be moving to the upside, but uh, the likely trade would be upside into test uh, resistance, which should line up with the top of the channel. You can see these two levels here are the ones to watch. Um, 24077 and 24116. So any rejection of this level and forming of a new low, short it is, stop above this area, and you're looking for your next level. Okay, and let me just give you that next level while we are thinking about it. 
most logical one is here, which is 2388. Okay, you can see all the interaction at that level. It's quite extensive. And I'm just going to go up to a eight hour chart just to see if there's anything else. I suppose we could. No, I think the next real level is down here. Okay, um, just bear in mind. Look at this trend line here. I'm just going to extend it back a bit. Okay, you can see it started off here. That's one, two, three touches. So ultimately, I think that is a level we actually want to get through. So that's going to be um, 23.574. So in the meantime, you're looking for shorts back into this area here, into 23.500 or 23.600. So you're looking for shorts into 23.600. That's um, your short-term target. If we start dropping below... Uh, 23574 and we start creating a new low on the much higher time frame. So I'm looking at the eighth hour or even the daily that is going to be a true trend reversal of the higher time frames okay so but for now we'll take what's on offer and you can see we're really starting to to break through this wedge um, which is what you would expect pick some structure up here so it'd be interesting to watch the European Open at the moment, this morning. I think um, we have some scope for more downside today. And um, these levels are going to be key. So if we reject these levels, if we get back above these levels and we find support here, uh, I think I'm still, I'll sit on hands because we have put in a lower, lower low. So I would expect probably a bit of a, a rally up. And then let's see at the 61.8 Fibonacci. See what happens there. And... Um, but for all intents and purposes, if I look at all the moving averages, uh, we have a crossover. The only one we're waiting for at the moment is the hour, which is underway. So it wouldn't surprise me a retest of that as well. Okay. So anyway, guys, um, I'm looking for shorts. Let's see what happens at these levels. And if these levels fail, look a little bit higher. Just don't want to put in a new high over this swing high from yesterday. We put a new high in over that, so we come back and find support there. Then uh, my bias switches back to long, and then we're looking for longs. So those are pretty much the two areas we're watching. Okay, this is getting ready to trigger a short for me, and if we get above there, uh, 24368, that will trigger a long. Okay, anyway, guys, that's it for me today. Hope it helps, and we'll catch you later. Cheers for now.